Hello and welcome to another Sparkster Inc. video. My name is Manuel and today I want to talk about the WWE censoring the Attitude Era. Now the WWE, it's kind of funny because they're promoting the Attitude Era in their WWE 13 video game. They're supposed to have a DVD release coming out about the Attitude Era. But at the same time, the former CEO... Linda McMahon is running for office. She, she is running for Senate as a Republican challenger in Connecticut. However, she is losing in the polls because of her past, because of her past affiliation with the WWE. The Democrats are using the Attitude Era against her. And as a result, the WWE has flagged and they have removed clip after clip after clip of many Attitude Era videos from YouTube and other internet sites that may be too violent or too sexual. So to recap, because Vince McMahon's wife wants to go into mainstream politics, the WWE, while promoting the Attitude Era, is at the same time censoring its adult-oriented past. Now, as an, as an older fan, as an older fan of wrestling and a, as an older fan of the WWE, having grown up in the Attitude Era, I kind of find this to be an insult to my intelligence and a total slap in the face. WWE would not be where it is today without the Attitude Era. It would not be a publicly traded stock on Wall Street. They would not be saying record attendances at WrestleManias. They would, not be they would not have top-selling DVDs, books, and video games. And I would, argue, I would even argue that John Cena would not be the franchise superstar that he is today without the Attitude Era. Because he, his career began in the Attitude Era. But the WWE wants to distance itself from the edgier more risque and more raunchy parts of the Attitude Years, the TV-14 aspect of it that was a huge part of the charm of that era that made the WWE and wrestling fun to watch and brought in new fans, both young and old. But now the WWE is going to alienate those older audiences and be more kid-friendly. And for years now, John Cena has been promoted as a kid-friendly superstar. How many of those kids will want how many of those kids are going to care about John Cena when they become adults? Or chances are they're going to move on to something more appropriate for their age. I would argue now that WWE is now operating out of fear. And this was once a fearless, groundbreaking company. And you don't, you don't even have to look further than Linda McMahon's Senate run. Instead of Linda McMahon herself promoting herself as a bold, self-made millionaire businesswoman and attacking the Democrats for the hypocrites that they obviously are, she is instead going on the defensive and distancing herself from the past. And the WWE is following her lead and doing the exact same thing. Now, I, I want to make this clear, We're, as, as, older, as an older fan, I'm not entitled to anything. I don't think older wrestling fans or older fans of the WWE should feel entitled to anything. It is their business, and they can do whatever they want with it. If they want to have their own football league, they want to go into bodybuilding, they want to go into movies, and if they want to... If Vince McMahon's wife wants to run for political office twice now, it's, it's okay for them to do it. They can do whatever they want. They have the money. They've earned the opportunity. But the McMahons will always be synonymous with wrestling. And this, to me, is a sign of disrespect. Not just to the older fans, but to all WWE fans. For me, I will always be a wrestling fan. I will always remember some of the good times watching the WWE 
growing up. And a part of me still wants to follow it, but stuff like this, it, it makes it very, it makes it harder for me to do so. So if this, if this is how the WWE wants to do business with, with us, we don't need to do business with them. We can always be wrestling fans, but we don't always have to be fans of the WWE.